Hey, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys some video SEO tips. I'm actually going to show you how to rank number one at the top of YouTube search engine fast and efficiently. So if you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel because right now I'm uploading videos on a daily basis, teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. So please slam the subscribe button, like this video, and let's dive into the content. Now there's a few ranking factors you're gonna need to know about before you attempt to go out there and rank videos, okay? And before I even talk about these ranking factors, I just wanna let you guys know that you're gonna have losers and you're gonna have winners. You can follow this exact you know, outline to a T and you still might not rank. So it's really all about taking consistent action at the end of the day on your channel. That's really what's going to determine where your videos rank, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. Number one ranking factor is on-page SEO. That includes the titles, the descriptions, and the tags, okay? And we're gonna dive into each of these factors deeper. I'm gonna show you guys live. Um, what these factors actually look like, what they actually mean, right? But I'm just gonna run through this list real quickly. The next thing you have is viewer retention, the average length your video is being watched for. So if you've got a reviewer retention of 70%, that means that, let's say if your video's 10 minutes long, people are watching at least seven out of those 10 minutes or 70% of your video. So the higher viewer retention, the you know easier it is for you to rank at the top of the search engine. The next thing is engagement. That includes likes, comments, shares, and embeds. Embeds are basically, it's like a little script that you can take um, from the share button, I believe, on, on YouTube, on the YouTube watch page. And you can take that script and put it on your blog and basically embed uh, a video on your blog. So the more embeds you have of your video, it shows that people like your video, it shows that your video is of quality along with the likes, comments, and shares, and that's also going to tell YouTube and Google that your video is of quality and it's gonna rank it higher. Then you have closed captions, right? You have YouTube Live, how often you post. So people that are posting content daily are gonna be the people that have more of an advantage, not always because you don't just wanna post any type of content, it needs to be quality content. So if you have somebody that's posting quality content three times a week, somebody else that's posting quality content five times a week, the person that's posting quality content five times a week is probably the person that's going to end up outranking that individual that's posting you know, that three times per week. So you've got that, you also have channel age. If your channel was created in 2010, and then you're competing with a channel that was created in 2016. You guys have the same content on each of those channels. Let's say it's the same exact videos. Um, the channel that was created in 2010 is more likely to rank higher because you know it's been around longer on the platform and in Google's and YouTube's eyes, once again, it's more trusted. So channel age is a factor and also subscriber count. The more subscribers you have, on your channel, it's just easier, much, much easier to rank videos. So all these factors combine sort of determine where you're going to rank overall in the search engine. So let me show you guys how this works live and in action. Um, but before we do, you're going to want to download a plugin called VidIQ. I've touched upon this plugin in past videos, but this is just an incredible plugin. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what it does, what I use it for. It's got tons of capabilities, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I use it for. And you can simply go to Google and type in vidIQ for Chrome. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the Chrome web browser, that's what I use, and you wanna download the vidIQ vision for YouTube uh, from the Chrome web store. And you just go here, you'll install it, and it'll be a part of your web browser. So again, you can just do that by going to Google and typing in vidIQ for Chrome. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about vidIQ. Number one, it's really cool because it will show you demographics. You can see that most of my viewers are men, 83.6%. And then down here, you can see the YouTube top searches. So when somebody search, searches for a ClickBank, I'm deriving 3,741 views from that search phrase. So if you go to, to YouTube and type in ClickBank, I actually have a video that's ranked at the very top, um, number one. And this is a very, very competitive keyword, by the way. Um, it's very hard to rank for. It's a keyword in the affiliate marketing niche, if you're not familiar. 
Um, and those one word keywords or search phrases are the hardest to rank for because they're so broad. They're not what's called long tail. A long tail keyword is a keyword that has at least five or more keywords in the search phrase. So this one just has one and I'm actually ranking the top. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step how I'm ranking for very, very difficult keywords and how I'm doing it you know, fairly quickly. So this will show you exactly what you're ranking for at the top of YouTube here. So you guys can see some of my data here. A lot of YouTubers won't show you guys this stuff. So again, I like to remain transparent. These are the top videos that are getting the most views. As you can see, this is a ClickBank video. This is a um, automated websites video here, and then another ClickBank video, another ClickBank video here. So you can see by looking at this, you know, I create a lot of ClickBank affiliate marketing videos because I'm finding that those types of videos are getting the most views on my channel, okay? And then these are the top countries that are finding my videos. You got United States, number one, United Kingdom, India, Canada, so on and so forth. So this shows the total amount of views, subscribers, and then you can see my trend here. You know, my views that I'm getting on a daily basis, you know, went up to 7,000, went back down, went back up again, right? So let's go ahead and let's jump over to here. And you can see once again, this ClickBank keyword, I went ahead and typed that in, searched, you can see I'm ranked at the top right here. So let's break down, kind of give you guys an inside look under the hood on how I ranked for this specific hard to rank for keyword. We're talking like there's 471,000 results. And if I use this little all in title deal here and I press enter, this will actually go through YouTube and Let's add the other quotation there. It'll go through YouTube and it'll search for all the videos in YouTube's database and see, and basically sift out uh, all the videos that have ClickBank in the title. And that gives us kind of an idea of how much competition there is. In this case, there's 27,200 results and I'm ranked number one. So very, very competitive keyword. Anything really over, you know, I would say five or 10,000 is like really, really uber competitive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here and we're actually on the edit page of that very video. And if we scroll down, you can see this little plugin in action. It's, you can see there's a checklist right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna follow this checklist and that's what we're gonna do live and in action. So you can see there's a few little uh, tables right here. There's our overall vidIQ SEO score, there's the checklist. I've got eight out of nine completed. Um, we've got the actionable table here, which is a 43.7 out of 50, pretty dang cool. This is sort of your on-page SEO. So you know you can see if, if this is green, that's an indication that your on-page SEO is really, really good. So we've got the tag count right here, which is a three out of five. I could actually add a bunch more tags here if I wanted to. Um, the tag volume three out of five, which is basically you know the same thing here. Keywords in title is a five out of five, which means I've got the keyword that I wanna rank for in the title, which is ClickBank, right? I've got keywords in the description, which again is ClickBank. So it'll go and look and see if ClickBank's in this description. And then tripled keywords means that uh, I have the keyword in the title, the description, and in the tags, okay? And this shows that three out of five tags are ranked and this high volume ranked tags, I don't know exactly what that means, but that's basically what I pay attention to is you know, these two boxes here and then the checklist right here. So if I complete this checklist, my scores over here should be pretty dang good. So when all else fails, if you don't know what this means, just focus on this checklist right here. So let's go ahead and let's follow this step by step. So it says number one to add at least one card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the card section, right? And you can actually find that if we scroll up and click on cards here, it'll take us to this page. And what we can do is we can add cards. Basically what a card is, it's a little pop-up that will show up at any given time that we want it to show up at. So you can see that this one shows up at 332, this one shows up at 1137. And there's different types of cards we can add. We can add a, another video or playlist. We can add a channel card where we can promote another channel, donation, poll, and link. So what I typically always do is add another video or I'll add a couple related videos to this specific video. 
you always want to add videos as cars that relate to the video uh, you know that you've uploaded okay so make sure that you follow that and then what you want to do is you want to go to I believe the next one was end screen so add at least one end screen so we'll jump over here and we'll go to end screens okay and you can add all types of elements here you can add a video or playlist subscribe channel and a link and your end screen is basically what shows up in the last I believe like right around 20 to 30 seconds of your video so you can add a subscribe button here which is what I've done on this video you can also add a video right here so these two factors will also determine where you rank right and then next you want to make sure that monetization is enabled okay um, there's something called the YouTube partner program and what that allows you to do is it allows you to make money from advertisers that ad, advertise on your videos, okay? So you wanna make sure that that's activated. If you wanna know a little bit more about the YouTube Partners Program, you can just go to Google and type in YouTube Partners Program, how to monetize, and that will walk you through exactly how to do that, okay? And then you want to add your video to a playlist. So what you wanna do is you'll wanna to go to, let me jump over here, you're gonna to wanna to go to your video manager and the way that you do that is you go to the top right hand corner, you click on Creator Studio, and it'll bring up you know, your dashboard, and then you could see your video manager here, and you just click on videos. And then what you can do is you can add a checkbox on each video that you wanna add to a playlist, and then you would click Add To, and then I can check mark whatever playlist I wanna add these videos to. You can also create a new playlist by going down here. And so that's what I've done is I've already added to a playlist with each of these videos here. So that right there is done. And then we wanna make it public. And you, as you can see here, it is public. And then it's been shared on Twitter. It's been shared on Facebook with at least one like. And I've replied to a recent comment. For the most part, somebody will share this on Twitter for you. It looks like that's exactly what happened here because I didn't share it on Twitter and it looks like someone shared it on Facebook. So those two are done. You could do, do those two by yourself if you wish to, um, but you know, you'll know you notice here that that has been done for me, fortunately enough. And then what you can do is we didn't cover closed captions. Okay, I actually haven't added closed captions on this video. But what you can do is you can go to the subtitles closed captions section and you can actually add a new subtitles or closed caption. Now this one's auto-generated by YouTube. So YouTube has used its own voice recognition software to try to determine what you're talking about in your video, but it's really not that accurate. And so what you wanna do is you wanna use a manually written transcription of your video, which will also help you rank. Now, fortunately enough, I'm ranking at the top for this video without a transcription, okay, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna get an unfair advantage, you know, above everybody else and possibly even me, <laughs> you might wanna add uh, a closed caption. I plan on doing that a little bit later on. I just haven't done it for this video. And there's tons of YouTubers that haven't really discovered the power of this yet. And so most YouTubers aren't even using closed caption on their videos. And you can actually see right next to my video, or right actually below it, right here below the title, it'll show CC if I've created a manual um, closed caption. You can see that Aaron Chen has right here, which is probably helping him rank. So it'd probably give me that much more power if I use closed caption and also what YouTube will do is they'll, they'll listen, their algorithm will listen to your video and if you say ClickBank or ClickBank for beginners throughout your video, then that's another indication that they know, wow, this is actually about ClickBank for beginners. So they'll look at the title, they'll look at the tags, they'll look at the description, they'll also look at the closed captions to determine what your video is about. And as a bonus, if you want to uh, have somebody write your closed captions for you, it's a dollar per minute. You can go to rev.com, it's the exact service that I use to have my captions written for me. And all you need to do is go to learn more here, or you can just go to the transcription, learn more here, get started. 
And then all you gotta do is paste your YouTube URL, your link right here after you upload it, and they actually will have it done within, they'll have it done within the day. And that's it, you'll take that, you'll go to the add new subtitles or closed caption section, you'll follow the directions English, and then you'll go ahead and you can either upload that transcription or you can copy and paste it into here. So it's super, super easy to use. So those are the factors, guys, to help you rank. So you'll notice that I'm, I'm, I'm posting very often in my YouTube channel. That's helping me. You know, I'm getting lots of engagement on my videos. I'm telling people to engage with, with my videos. So you wanna make sure that you're telling people like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff because that will help you rank. That's why I do it in every single one of my videos. So there might be a channel out there that has, you know, was created back in 2007. And you know, now it's 2018, you might create a, a channel that wants to compete with that channel, but you might be thinking, there's no way I can do it. You can. You just have to be willing to be more consistent and put out more content than that other channel or put out more high quality content, okay? So there's a way that you guys can do this. This is the quickest way to rank is make sure that you have each and every one of these bases covered, okay? So with that said, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to build an online business from complete scratch and, and complete detail, I've got my top recommended program below. Um, it's the same program that's helped me make thousands of dollars on ClickBank. I've shown a lot of my results out there on ClickBank. It's helped me break through in the affiliate marketing place and even sell my own products. So if you're an entrepreneur, you wanna build and grow an online business, this is definitely for you. Go ahead and check out my top recommended program below. And I'll also include some other videos that would assist you in ranking further. So with that said, Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next video. Take care.